Hi everybody, um, it's me, Bridget, and I am back to share another flipbook that I created. Um, it is a summer theme flipbook, and I am going to show you uh, what I used to create some of the pages and the main paper that I used. So let me just put this off to the side for a sec. And let me take this off for a minute. Okay, so I use the Summer Daydreams, um, the photo play paper, and I just have a couple of whole pages left, but I do have a lot of um, scraps. And this was this is super cute, super fun to work with. I use some of the ephemera pack, which looks like this. Uh, I think I used one or two pieces from this Imaginis um, ephemera pack, which has like uh, vellum pieces and cardstock pieces. It looks like this. I don't know if there's a collection. This might be summer fun, maybe, or I'm not quite sure, but I know I used like the flamingo and a couple of the other pieces. And then I used... Um, some enamel dots from other collections like Simple Stories, My Mind's Eye, and a couple of hearts from this freckled fawn piece. Uh, and then I did use some of this, uh, these pieces like the stickers and some of the other sheet um, little embellishments. So that's what that looks like. Okay, this I was going to use this, but I wound up not using it. But this is a uh, super cute carnival um, die cut from um, Simon Says Stamp, and it comes with little carts too that you put here. I wound up not using it, but anyway, this um, I use these. I don't know what they're called um, on Frantic Stampers website, but it's their dies. I want to say maybe they're called gulls. Or, or like seagulls. I'm not quite sure of the exact terms. So I used those. I used my wonky uh, stitches rectangle dies. And then I used um, this uh, die set for the word smile. I don't think I used any of the flowers. But uh, this is a W9. This one here I didn't use. That's from, I think, Frantic Stamper. But this is a, you know, I might just have it, oh, here. Uh, w plus 9 Flower Doodles is the one that I used. And they look like the, oh no, I didn't use the Flower Doodles. I used the words that came in it. I used the word smile. So... With that said, let me put this out of the way and show you what I did. So here I created my gusseted flipbook, which I do have um, a tutorial on. I believe the tutorial I have is, um, a, I made it um, more shallow. So with this one, I think it's what, a half a um, half inch gussets. I think the other one I had a smaller gusset. But uh, so I layered the papers. Here are those um, seagull dies. They're super cute. They really do look like not just your, you know, regular bird um, dies. They're so cute. I think this is a lawn fawn die. Uh, the sunshine I cut out of glittered cardstock. This is one of the um, stickers that I put on one of my scrap pieces and then cut around. And then I put another piece of the paper here so that I can mount these um, Popsicle summer stickers. And then uh, I believe this is one of the pieces of the ephemera pack. Yeah, so I use that it. it's right there. That's the piece I used. And then I just made some banner pieces out of the um, scraps that were on my table while I was working on the flipbook. Some enamel dots. 
I edged everything with um, Lawn Fawn uh, Guava Ink. And so here on the inside, this is the uh, first page. I used some of these. These were circles that Erica Scrap Diva 29 gave me. Hey girl! Um, so I cut them in half just to put like around the frame. Those are the wonky stitches. And then here are some of the pieces that spell fun. And then um, I made a banner without a piece of thread. So uh, this is another piece from the ephemera pack. This piece. And then I just put some enamel dots around. I had done this in uh, the flip book I showed you guys um, for Anna. So I cut different strips of cardstock and kind of layered them and then put my matting on there. And this is actually, I'll show you on my lovely piece of, it's, I left it so that um, she could put a, uh, the recipient could put a, a picture back there. So I left the L unlocked or unglued. Okay, so then this page is a shaker. Um, this was a die cut. I don't quite remember where I got this die cut. I think it's from the paper itself. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I put um, a sticker on the back sheet and then I filled it with, you know, all kinds of sequins. This is from that Imaginis. This is from uh, the collection. And then I just put some papers. I matted it in orange paper and then I put um, some more of the collection paper underneath. So that's a super cute shaker. Oh, I love it, it's so cute. And then here, I kind of um, added a little shimmer with, uh, these are the new, um, uh, help me, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I forgot what these are called. <laughs> Let me see if I can see it on the, oh, the Spectrum Noir um, clear overlay. And I like these a lot more than the Wink of Stella because I also used it here. Um, it's not so much that it adds more sparkle, it's like way more shimmery. So, I have a couple of examples here on like how super shimmery those colors are. It's just different than Wink of Stella. I still love Wink of Stella, but like it's just extra shimmer. So I did that here on the smile and then I did that here on the little heart for the I Heart Summer. And then you open it up and then I used another cutout sheet that says um, what does it say? Keep. I think it says keeping it cool as a popsicle. So this is uh, one of those We Are Memory Keepers uh, pouches that I just used my fuse on. Cut it down to size and then fused it. These are the stickers. Relax, good times. I, I added that sticker to um, cardstock to make it more stable. And then I cut around it and popped it up. So that's that. And then this here in the middle is uh, one of my favorites. It's so cute. I used some washi. Um, this washi is super secure because what I do with my washi is uh, I use one of my other favorite tools, which is this. Okay, it's a zig um, two-way glue pen. And this is the one with the finer tip. So I put a strip of this with all my washi, and then I put my washi tape down. And it's it dries clear, so you don't even see it. So I used some of the cutouts. This is an ephemera piece, and then I just basically made a little waterfall here. Um, this is a flamingo that Erica gifted me. I put the date here with the numbers from the cardstock stickers. And I love this to-do list, super cute. So all the washi is totally secure and glued down. And then this last piece I just layered there with the enamel dots. And then I popped up one of the uh, cardstock stickers, put the flip-flops, and I love this paper in the back. 
so it looks like a swimming pool <laughs> and then I just um, reinforced the gussets a little bit more with some cardstock so that is my flip book and it's going out to um, one of the girls here on YouTube her name is Leah and then oh I forgot to show you how I did it in the back and uh, I took the um, there are there were flip-flops here it went all across the page and then I cut it in half and then I also used my uh, zig two-way glue pen to kind of secure the sticker down and then I just you know once it was uh, glued down I just cut off the little edges and then this is also an embellishment that my friend um, Erica who's Scrap Diva 29 uh, made for me and I just kind of put it there as a, like a little finishing touch I had seen her uh, finish one of her back pages and that gave me an idea to kind of do the same. So that's another summer themed flip book. Um, I want to just say thank you to all of my subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And um, I also want to thank all of my good old regular subscribers um, for tuning in. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know and uh, I love to read and um, write back to your comments. So have a great day, everybody. I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye.